I had a dream. I had a dream. I had a dream of, you know, of being a boxer. I never wanted to be a soldier. I never wanted to join to be a soldier, but it's in the situation and the where I come from. That's what made me join the army. I grew up in the northern side of Uganda where there is a rebel, Joseph Kony. So he's fighting against the government. And in the northern side of Uganda, they were all it was only war. Yeah. By then it was war, since I, I grew up in war. So by the age of 12, I decided to join the, the UPDF, the government soldiers. I, I was so scared because a lot of my friends died from from the village. We are between Sudan and Congo. So I come from deep the northern side where there was never been no freedom. There was only war. We were only fighting all the time. We were scared for our life. A lot of my friends have got shot. My, uh, they shot my back. A, a lot of you know, rebels could attack, attack the village. Where I come from is only, you know, kids that are child soldiers and then I don't want no, no, no one to be in that situation. I've seen a lot of killings, they killed all my friends and um, sometimes I think, ab when I think about it, I'm just, what can I do? Like, you know, it's, it's, it happened, you know, yeah. just stay humble and follow my dreams, you know. By the age of 15, I didn't like it. I didn't, a lot of my boys died. A lot of my friends died from that. So I, I decided to run away. When I got up there, I knew that I can be something in life. I can be able to box because when my uncle, he died when I was like seven years old. He showed me how to box. He used to show me how to box, that this is what you gotta do. If you can get a chance to go back to the city and be able to box that will show you a way to move out of the Uganda, Uganda and trying to go to states, trying to come Canada, England, somewhere and good that I can be able to box and that was in my mind since I was like seven years old. I played boxing, I played cricket so cricket had a, we had a chance to leave the country to come to, to go to Zambia for the qualifiers to play cricket. So we went to Zambia and we became number one cricket team in Africa. So we had to come to Canada for the second qualifiers to go to the World Cup. So that was my opportunity. I'm like, if I go, ever go to somewhere like Canada or America, I'll be able to stay there and try to box. That's where it was my dream. I went and applied for a refugee status. Child soldiers out there, they have they have dreams, they have talents to do something, but they don't have opportunity to leave the country because it's not easy to leave the country when you are a soldier. We had someone in Uganda, he's called Kasimo Uma. Kasimo Uma was a child soldier like me. You know, I seen him become world champion and he comes from the same, you know, situation like me. And I seen him when I was young, when I was in the army, and until he left and came to States and became a world champion. So I'm like, why not me too? I have goals to be like four, five times world champion. That's my goal. And I know that, you know, with good team, with, you know, good people around me, we can achieve the goal. I was born ready. I, I've been, like, as I said, I've been, I've been through guns and been through um, um, war, so I've been ready. Boxing is, you know, is I know God gave me the gift and He gave me a chance to leave the country and come around and try to show the world what you know we can do, like the talent that I have. So I'm, um, I was born ready. I just want to say that you know I'm 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 happy to be in Canada. You know I just want to let people know that you know in life there is always chances, there is always opportunity in life. If you follow your dreams and 
you know, forget about, you know, certain, you know, situations that you've been through and work hard in life, you can be able to, you know, make it in life, like as, you know, I am right now. Yeah, and I want to, you know, tell all the boys out there in the world that, you know, we can, we can do it, we can make it. The boys in Uganda out there, the boys in the world, the boys in the street, that, you know, let's have a dream, let's follow, what, you know, our dreams and we can do something. Everyone have a talent, so, you know, you got to realize your talent and put in work and, you know, you achieve it.